And up next, we are meeting with the famous, the amazing, <laughs> the wild and crazy, Mr. Tyler Derman. Hey, Tyler. It's good to see you. Hello, sir. How are you, Jeff? Good to see you and everybody. <laughs> yes, uh, I've missed I've missed seeing you in person. And uh, but, you know, this is not so bad. You're, you know, no. And, and, you know, I just realized, Jeff, I have to apologize to you and everyone who's watching because I realize I'm wearing these earbuds and I typically on Zoom wear these because I've come to realize that I have incredibly sexy ears and it's, it's just, difficult. I'm sorry to everybody, you know, I don't want to do this, but the nice thing about virtual is I don't have to slap hands away all the time, you know, <laughs> so that's good. But anyway, I'm glad to be with you. <laughs> it's good to have you here. Hey, so tell Thank us you. a little bit about uh, Tyler Derman as a speaker. What do you talk about and how do you handle that? Well, that's a nice question. Um, <laughs> You know, I, I speak to parents, students, and to educators. I'm a former high school teacher. Spoken. To, this just shows how old I am. But I've spoken to over 4.5 million students live, which is more than anybody else. Yeah, I've been tricking people for a lot of years. And um, in recent years, probably the last 15 or so, I realized the best way to help schools and students is to help parents clarify their role and really understand what their kids need. And an exciting thing about it has been that I've also discovered that that really helps schools. Teachers who are my friends and administrators who are my friends continually tell me the biggest problem, if not one of the biggest problems, is parents. And uh, so what we do is we, we come in either virtually, we're doing a lot of that, or live, and hopefully that'll happen soon, and do assemblies where we get all the kids into one room we make them laugh. We make them think about their lives. And um, what we do is we then, uh, you know, help them understand both individually and as a group of people um, how important it is to be a part of the, the school family. And what we've done is, and I use a lot of humor because, as you can tell, I'm incredibly funny. <laughs> totally. Absolutely. Yeah. And so uh, what we do is we then use the students and this isn't necessary, but we've discovered, particularly in the live setting, that uh, the students are excited about having been with me. Um, and we let them know that they're going to want to get their parents to show up for the parent event, whether it's virtual or physical, because I'm going to tell their parents things they want their parents to hear. And the turnout has been blowing everybody away because schools are getting and engaging more parents than they ever dreamed possible. And um, so we get the parents in the room and actually... Um, uh, Catherine Pastor, who is was the 2016 National School Counselor of the Year, uh, she's wonderful. Got to meet up Michelle Obama and the whole deal. But um, she called me the antidote to helicopter parenting, which can be a gift to administrators because we have overprotective parents, parents who think it's the school's job to raise their kid, uh, parents who don't understand that their kids need to be responsible for their behavior. All those things are the byproduct. Of, of what we're doing. And, you know, last night I actually did one for schools down in San Diego. We had over 300 parents sign up for it. It was an amazing turnout virtually. Great. Yeah. So that's, that's what I do. I'm a best selling author of a book called See How Wonderful I Am. Couple, and um, they're on my bookshelf right here. It yes. probably is. Actually, the book's not called See How Wonderful I Am. <laughs> no, I just feel not. cheesy saying best selling author. <laughs> but you pay a lot of money for that title. So you for might sure. as well use it. Um, <laughs> it's a book for parents and teachers. And here's what I'm excited about, Jeff, and then I'll shut up, is we're about to launch within the next four to six weeks a workshop that's going to be virtual. It's actually a master class for parents and for teachers who are working with middle school and high school students um, to really bring clarity. Uh, been working on it for two years. Um, it's going to be a big deal. We're going to be releasing it internationally. And um, so anyway, we want to keep kind of posted on that, of course. But that's what we're into. My life is I'm passionate about, um, you know, my ears and then keeping them clean. And then secondly, about helping families. Helping so ear yeah. family in that order. Um, yeah, I had a chance yeah. to, to actually watch you do your your evening presentation to parents when our, oh, local, yeah. our local middle school. Right. You, to come you came. Yeah, that, yeah, was, that was awesome. That was a, a, an amazing experience. Very Thank you to watch you do your thing. Um, so the last year with COVID is, I mean, it's really affected a lot of speakers. Uh, I've heard you talk about some virtual experiences. So how has the last yeah. year been for you within the, the speaking world? It's been awesome. And, and let me tell you why. Um, I don't have to fly in airplanes, which is nice. Um, <laughs> no, but it's been really wonderful because it's given me the chance, you know, I'm continually creating new material uh, based on the needs of the client. It keeps my job interesting. You know, I have friends who have uh, and nothing wrong with this, but they have one speech they do wherever they go. And um, I would have a hard time being not, not going stale with that. But there's certain specific needs, of course, 
schools, families, teachers. Um, I have a virtual presentation for educators that I'm getting well received, um, both pre-recorded and live kind of stuff. But it's giving me a chance. Did you see that little burp? I just I did. tried to hide it. it you did. I okay. I even really called it out, but you know. Yeah. Well, I'm good at that. <laughs> I got to do that on stage a lot, but for, uh, it's been great to create new material for students about the issue of their mental health and just the loss that they're either experiencing now or are going to later whenever that kicks in in their personal life. So I've been enjoying it. It's been wonderful and really personal. I'm used to being in front of, you know, hundreds or thousands of people at, and it just feels so much more one-on-one, -on -one, a lot like this. Very cool. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, you know, you've been a CATA mainstay for many years. I, I feel like you were one of the original uh, speaker sponsors. I, I actually am the original speaker sponsor. The original. And if you tr if you track CATA history, I'm the one who started CATA. Oh, okay. And um, yeah, yeah, I came up with that idea when I think I was six. <laughs> you know, I'm kind of a go-getter. Um, yeah, no, I've been around CATA forever. I and, really have. Yeah, I, you've got to have some really fun memory uh, or a favorite memory of, of some CATA experience. Oh, I do. And that sounded like such a spontaneous question. Jeff. <laughs> um, I haven't done any pre-thinking on that one. No. <laughs> By the way, Jeff, you're really good at this. Honestly, it's hard to do what you're doing. Um, my favorite memory is speaking uh, twice. I got to do the Friday morning keynote and a few years ago, I actually, no, I, I did one a few years ago. And then the following year, this speaker I've been mentoring uh, since anyone at Kata, before Kata in his life, uh, Houston Kraft. HK, baby. And um, he's doing great stuff. Yes, I'm so proud of him. Uh, he was a kid then. He's not anymore. But when he did his keynote a few years ago, he spent a full eight minutes just saying thank you to me on from stage and talking about the impact I'd had in this life. That's probably my favorite cat of memory besides all the friends I've met like you. That is awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think, I think I might have teared up during Houston's. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah. Day. Probably <laughs> because it wasn't me speaking. Is that why? <laughs> <laughs> So silly. No. Um, and then um, we have the, we're asking for mixtape uh, 80s, 90s music memories as okay. well. Okay. Oh, if you're watching this, both of you who are watching this, um, Jeff and his wife, whoever <laughs> right. ends up watching this, Friday, I think at four o'clock, I have a workshop called The Hug, and I want to invite you to come. It's going to help you where you're at in your life. It's stuff that's really changed my life. Mixed tape. Um, but the only thing that came to my mind was pour some sugar on me. Okay. And then it's the 80s song. I don't even remember. I don't know who sings it. I forget. They got a one arm drummer. Might have been Warrant or. Uh, no, no. Uh, Def Leppard? Def Leppard. Yeah, That's Def it. Leopard. He's got his right, ripped right, right. jeans. And I just thought, what a. I love storytelling. And I thought that title and that chorus, pour some sugar on me. Of course, we're not going to describe what it means to, to me. <laughs> I was afraid but, where you're going to go with this. but <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You should be. It's me. Um, but I just thought, what a brilliant theme for a song because it's so visual and when I communicate a visual I'm a visual learner so anyway plus the song's cool I haven't listened to it since the 80s but that's that's all I got for you Jeff well that was great and you stole some of my thunder I was going to uh, plug your uh, workshop here at the end but you are done that yes yeah, so oh, go ahead yeah go Tyler ahead. Tyler doing a, a workshop Friday called the hug um I'm, I'm well, assuming yeah. it's gonna be some sort of virtual hug um unless you're gonna be no not at all it's gonna be doors and it'll just be different them That'll be great. Yeah, it'll be different than you would expect. We're going <laughs> to laugh together, but um, I, I think it's going to be profound. I really am excited about it. And are you going to be in the virtual exhibit hall? I know you're infamous at our in-person exhibit hall for like wandering the room during disappearing the exhibit hall time. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I am actually. Okay, I'm going perfect. to be. I'm going to be just right here, uh, waiting for my waiting one for friend the, to the click on. <laughs> yeah, so, exactly. So yeah, stop by, no, I look uh, forward to it. Click the uh, Tyler Derman Hope for Parents icon in the virtual exhibit hall and stop by and say Thank hi to you. Tyler. And uh, if you've never me. met him, uh, introduce yourself. If you know him, then I'm sure it's going to be a great moment to catch up. Thanks a and lot. Keep Tyler. your hands off my ears, okay? All right. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks so much, you guys. I'm grateful for you. Talk to you soon.